Mm. What's going on, guys? Apple a day. It keeps Anella closer to you. Um, headed to sports today. I'm going to go watch some baseball with the family. It's uh, mother and stepfather's birthday, so not both the same day. But you can get sports there. They have like a buffet thing there. So I'm basically saving all my fat for that. But I think we're going to go out and get some breakfast, even though it's 11 o'clock. And uh should be good. What do you got to tell people, Nella? Nothing? All right. No. So I'm at the baseball game. This is my mother, the first time introducing her. Hi, I'm Max's mom. What do you think of the YouTube thing? I think you're awesome. <laughs> she thinks I'm <laughs> awesome. This is Joe. Hi there. <laughs> so we are at some sports. It's gonna be a good time. My brother will be here. Uh, his girlfriend will be here. My friend Daryl will be here. Um, we'll be up in a suite. Very nice. Joe's company. <laughs> Joe's company always get uh, always gets like tickets to a bunch of sporting events. So they go to a whole lot of sports, like a whole lot of baseball, a lot of basketball. Sometimes they drag us along. <laughs> so they have a whole bunch of stuff. Hot dogs. It's in here. Yeah. Oh, there's a handle right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, these are all low fat, too. It's crazy. <laughs> Ooh. A whole bunch of Coors Light. Gross. I hate Coors Light. I used to drink a bunch of Diet Coke. A bunch of water. So I've had a couple of these meatballs. Fun fact: I love sushi meatballs. These are like the uh, like Asian style. I don't know. They they taste like you're at like P.F. Chang's. I think those are regular, and these are apparently spicy, but they have like lime on it. So I'm just gonna try one of these bad boys. Ooh. Yum 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 yum. What was it? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. We would go, you know, yeah, well, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You didn't harm anybody. You yeah, you didn't kill anybody. I might go. See by the dawn's early light. So we are at the baseball game in DC. Macros, I mean, I've only had an apple, and I'm gonna have a lot of these snacks. I'm gonna have hot dogs, these. Um, you know, the meatballs, the salad, the chicken thing. So realistically, I'll be getting, you know, a pretty good amount of fat and carbs. And what I'll do in events like this, even if, I mean, you can estimate everything, but I'm not gonna look at each sandwich and be like, okay, what is macros and plug in my phone for a hot dog? I'm just gonna enjoy myself. And what I'll do is just eat a bunch of food here and consider that about 75% of my carbs and 90 to 95% of my fat. And then at the end of the day, I'll have, maybe I'll make some chicken or I will make um, something low carb, high in protein and very low in fat. So when you go to events like this, enjoy yourself. You can estimate it, I could estimate it, but I just, in my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna enjoy myself, I'm gonna consider this all the fat of the day, and majority of my carbs. That's what I'd recommend you guys do, is to not overanalyze things. And usually, once a week, I'll kind of, usually it's on this day, which is probably more exciting for you guys, is I will not really care as much, but even when you go to something like this, you can realize that all your fat's gonna be gone, most of your carbs are gonna be gone, things like that. Enjoy yourself, it'll be okay. Daryl, the dentist is here. Hey. You, what are you, uh, what's your macros for today? My macros? All of them? All of them, everything. <laughs> One thing I have been doing is crushing these chicken sandwiches, which is actually a pretty decent amount of chicken on there. Got some mustard. Ooh, is this spicy? Yep. Do you think spicy mustard is better than regular mustard? Absolutely. 
Not a doubt. I don't know if I'd substitute it. I don't know if I'd get rid of regular mustard for spicy though. They both have their place in this world. Apparently you cannot go to a baseball game without getting a hot dog. Wiener! I'm not gonna put any of that on there. I will put ketchup and mustard while this is toasting. Is that Theodore Roosevelt? Is that Theodore? Theodore Roosevelt's killing it. Have you a little more pasta salad? How many, how, many, how many grams of fat are in a hot dog? Like, like twelve? Really? Nah, a little bit more. I mean, it, it's probably not kosher. It was probably not like Nathan's ballpark. Yeah, like twelve or like between seven and twelve, I think. No way. Like twelve, sixteen. You're a liar. Hot dogs actually have a lot of fat. Yeah, hot dog bun, like gram and a half fat, twenty-five carbs. This pasta, but this is just like oil dressing. It's probably a decent amount of fat on it. But again, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume that 90, 95 percent of my fat is gonna come from today, <laughs> and then like, eh, like 75, 80 percent of my carbs. Really, not that many carbs. No. And then we gotta eat dinner. So we lost, by the way. It was. Uh, what was the score? Was the score? Six four. Everyone's leaving. Everyone's upset. First baseball experience. Lost. God. Got it. We're good. We're good. <laughs> so I stopped in the grocery store to pick up a few things. Got some Powerade. Got some apples. And the hand that's holding this camera is got some tea. Been on an apple cake for a long time. It's on a banana cake for like two years. Apples 24-7, 365. I get like weirded out if I don't have an apple every single day. My brother's like making out with his girlfriend in here. Gross. This place looks cozy. My brother's brakes suck. Yes, I would like the tandoori chicken light. Fat-free cozy vinaigrette. And then I will take that toasted with lettuce and onions on it, and bread is my side, please. The, and on the multigrain, please. You want multigrain on the side? Yes. Thank you. Mm. Stopping in cozy to get some food. Let's play that kid's like bright. Stopping in cozy to get some food. Um, this is actually one of my favorite places to eat. And I don't know if they're everywhere. There's a lot in DC. There's a bunch in Arlington, but it's a really good, relatively cheap place to eat. It's like eight bucks for my sandwich, but it's very filling, good. Um, the sandwich I get, you can either get it with the regular fat vinaigrette or the fat-free vinaigrette, which I do um, on a regular basis. I get this probably for like three or four times a week. It's kind of like my new Chipotle because the Chipotle line is so long, and the cozy line is not. And the reason I get zero, zero fat dressing like during the week during, at work is because. As I was kind of saying before, it's a lot, it's easier for me just to eat very minimal fat during the day, just in case whatever I eat at night is gonna be high in fat. And it's usually a little harder, all right, it's a little harder to guesstimate fat. So if I know that I've had very, very little, it's not as big of a deal. I'm gonna go pay for this. Just to give you an idea also, the sandwich is only like 600 calories and only six grams of fat. Even though on their bread, I do see them putting like olive oil on the bread, but like there, it's like verified in my fitness pal, so we're gonna accept it. So it's pretty upper, you know, medium to semi high carb, so, but it's flatbread, so that's always good. I don't know if you guys can see me right now. Bat dog. <gasps> Later back. Later back. <gasps> no. So I'm gonna crush this. So again, it is just chicken, peppers. I got lettuce and onions on there, and on a multigrain flatbread. And then I get flatbread as a side, just get some extra carbs, and it's delicious, and it's filling, and it's great. And Nella just wishes she could have it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna watch 
not myself, but I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and then we gotta package up a whole lot more short shirts from over the weekend. Thank you guys to all of you who snagged up something at launch. Uh, Y'all support is crazy every single time. Um, and all your stuff, by the time you've seen this video, it's definitely been out already, so you should be receiving it. Um, so I'm very hungry. I had a good time at the baseball game. Had like three Diet Cokes. Yeah, three of them. Crazy Max. <laughs> Remember when I was younger, I probably had like 10 Pepsis a day. Mmm, really good. The rest of the day, it's 7 o'clock. I just need some more, I definitely need some more protein for the end of the day, so. See you soon. Just editing up the video for Monday. If you guys have not seen it, go check it out. It's got a lot of funny things in there, heavy lifts. I ripped my hand open, two days of lifting. Do it! Render. What is going on guys? We are on Periscope right now. I'm packaging up some orders. So if you guys are watching this day of eating, then you'll see your name right here. So if you're not, uh, you know, on the Periscope game, I try to do this a couple times a week. Usually on the weekends, like at nighttime, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay, it's in Periscope for like 20 minutes longer than I imagined. Uh, I'm going to package up some orders from today. We got Raymond, my boy on the YouTubes watching that, or more like listening to it. Drinking some water, packaging up some stuff. It is 8.35 right now. I might have like a protein bar, some protein chips in a minute. But um, other than that, just drinking a bunch of liquids. I really want to go get some candy, but I'm going to be good today. Not good with my calories. And uh, that's that. That's my night. I might play some video games. Yeah, I might, I might have some downtime where I might play, sit and for like an hour just do nothing but play video games. So, I'm going to have a quest bar. Bye. Oh, I hit my I don't have a quest bar. By far my favorite one that I've been currently addicted to is the cookies and cream. It is so good. Get some fiber in, some more protein. Chug back water. That went up my nose. <laughs> so when I do get some downtime, you know, I uh, the inner nerd comes out and I play this computer game. I used to love Diablo 2 as a kid, and this is extremely similar. It's called Path of Exile. You guys have seen it before. Here's my little character. Let me zoom in right here. Little nerd. I've, I've purchased all this stuff, so I spent like real money on this. So I have like a, a, a ice skull, a flaming thing, these wings. I, I had this chicken. Check this out. There's a chicken. Aha! So basically, you just kind of run around. It's like a point and click, and I'll. I, I like cast little totem things. Let me show you. Ooh. Oh crap. Don't die. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm a nerd. This is what I like to do. Whoa, okay, it is 11.30. Uh, later than I wanted to uh, play the game for like an hour and a half. Really nice though. <laughs> Got to level 70. Sweet. Okay, I'm a nerd. Um, finish up the food for the day. So what I'm going to have is actually... I don't know if I've ever had peanut butter crunch because I'm, you know, I'm team Reese Puffs. Um, I'm assuming this is gonna be similar. I don't think this is gonna be as good, but you know, whatever. So we have two and a half servings of this, and this milk says sell by August 9th, which is today. Do you ever have milk where it's like best sell by, and you're on the vert, you're like, it's kind of stinky, but it's not that stinky. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna go with it. We're, we'll be alright. Uh, and then I'll take my supplements, which I need to start doing this earlier, not because I think it matters when you take it in the day, as long as you take it at the same time. But um, I do believe that, you know, your body does kind of shut down as you're sleeping. Your, uh, your digestive system kind of shuts down a little bit, slows down, not shuts down, but slows down. Your body's going to rest. Everything kind of, you know, it was like. Rrr. Uh, so I think it'd be more beneficial to take these in the morning. Is it that big of a deal? I don't think so. But I'm going to take four fish oil, four of the multivitamins. I use the MTS Machine Greens, Optimum Nutrition Fish Oil, and uh, Optimum Nutrition Creatine, five grams. And then I'm going to have two scoops of MTS Cookies and Cream, the best thing ever. I need to try the Cinegram. If you guys want to snag up anything MTS, the link is always in the description. So here we go, here we go, I wanted 65 
about 65 fat. So we're at 60 and one 300 carb at 257 and 170 protein, one about 190. But uh, the sandwiches that I had, the little chicken sandwiches with the bread, so those I, I estimated, and the fat from that, and like the salad and the pasta salad, will add up the rest of the carbs. So that's kind of the only thing I estimated because I did find like hot dog with bun, just estimated, or uh, you know, hot dog because I had hot dog meatballs about six ounces. So I had three three meatballs, which I think is about six ounces. There's protein bar. There's the cozy. There's all the stuff that I'm having right now. If you guys want to follow me on my fitness pal. I actually did make a new one just so it's kind of fresh. It's max tuning, just like all my social medias. If you guys want to follow me on anything, it's my name, Max Tuning. I'm gonna take a shower after I eat this, and then I'm gonna try, actually test this out tonight, if, so I don't have to, you know, test it in the morning and it suck, and then I have to go to work. I always try to get new ha like hair stuff because I have not found a product that's like the best thing ever. So trying this out, got good reviews. It's only like eleven dollars on Amazon, so we'll try it out. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Three minute outro. Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> All right. We out here. Thumbs it up. Uh, comment. Um, made it this far. What's a good thing to say? Um, uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Potato.